welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a video like this in about a year. Uh, so I'm really excited to be doing this again because I love watching these videos and I love doing these videos because I'm such a nosy person. <laughs> I love to see what's in people's bags. So I have another bag to show you and what's in my bag. I have some more stuff to show you. Um, and this bag has actually been a great friend to me over the years. This is probably like my most used bag. I've had this bag for, hmm, I want to say, how long have I had this bag for? Yeah, I've had this bag for about four years and it has held up so well. It is the Michael Kors backpack. The only thing that I think really shows its age is the uh, zippers. The leather has curled over time, but other than that, it is in great condition. The leather is the pebbled leather. It lasts really long. I will say I take very good care of it um, and I put it away when I'm not using it and I try to stuff it so it doesn't lose its shape. Although this bag will lose its shape because as you can see, when it gets heavy, it's, you know, it's sagging. But the thing about having a backpack is it is just so convenient. Like I love being able to go anywhere and put on my backpack. I think that that looks... I think that it looks really, really cute. I think that it's still classy, still sophisticated, but edgy and super practical. That is why when I'm going to the city, like the other day I was in Toronto and I needed to bring a bunch of stuff like my camera and pens and paper and my phone and snacks and blah, 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 blah. It was just so much easier to grab this than my Neverfull, which is open, or even my um, Gucci Soho Disco because there's just not enough space. Um, so I will get right into showing you what is inside. I believe that Michael Kors still makes different variations of this bag. I remember that this leather though is called Peanut. Um, and I will try to link either this one or something very similar down below. But I will say the quality has been amazing. There's been no ripping, tearing, anything. It has held up and I have stuffed it full of things. So let's take a look. So first of all, you have this front pouch, which doesn't really serve a purpose for anything. You can stick something in there. You could put like some cards, like maybe your transit pass or something like that, but it can slide all around and even like on the side all the way to back here. So I don't necessarily think that it's the most practical um, compartment. I don't ever use it, so it just, stays um, zipped up. Then the front pouch, like a traditional backpack, is a slim kind of um, compartment where I usually keep things that I will need to grab easily. So I have my mints here and hand sanitizer. Um, and that's just kind of what it looks like. It opens up wider. I don't like to put my wallet in there only because I think that this out of everywhere has the easiest access and it just, I worry that it will fall out because it does zip down quite deep where the last one doesn't go as far. And then moving on to the larger compartment. This is awesome. So it has a little space here. If you have a, I believe it's the so a good size for a mini iPad or tablet. So it's padded, so it would be protected and it's very easy to just slip in there. And I actually just keep my phone in that part because I always know it's there. I just throw it in and it's good. And I have this cute little pop socket with the hearts. Love that. Um, so you have that first compartment. You also have this closed compartment that I, it's empty right now, but sometimes I might keep, that's where I might keep my transit pass or some jewelry or something that I really don't want to lose in the bag. And so this is kind of like what it looks like on the inside. It's like a dark hole in there. It also has in the front here places to put your phone, but, or, something those little 
slide pockets, but uh, the plus does not fit in there. I think this was made before the plus. So some things that I carry is I have this lip uh, case, which I carry all my lip products, plus a roll-on perfume so I have my go-to nest indigo this is my signature scent my absolute favorite then I have a Sephora coconut lip balm which I really like I have my Rumel my Rumel uh, Kate lasting finish in Rosetto which I love this color this is such a pretty everyday nude I also like to top it with the buxom this is in Dolly lip gloss and then lastly, I have this Smith's Ro Rosebud Sap, which is amazing. This is like so good when you need that strong hydration because your lips are so dry. And then I keep everything in this Shiseido um, pouch that I got from an influencer uh, box. Next in the hole of darkness, I have my wallet which you've seen this wallet before love this kate spade little wallet because it's small it's compact but it fits everything that i need and it has a lot of additional card space underneath i just hate carrying around a big chunky long wallet so this works and then right in the back here i like i either keep like really important receipts that i'll need to access or my presto pass which is a toronto transit pass the last thing that I have, I think it's my la last thing. Nope. I have, ooh, I have $2.25. I have some loose headphones, which I should probably, I could put that in that zipped area. Oh, I also have this uh, ponytail. I love these. I can never go back to regular elastics or fabric ones. I only ever use these coil ones whatever they're called and the last thing I have is my on-the-go makeup pouch so this jumps between my backpack and my purse and I had run out and got this one day because I really needed to look nice and I didn't and I needed some makeup that I could take on the go it's cheap stuff it's things that I don't necessarily care about but I could use if I'm touching my makeup up so I have the wet oh my gosh I almost dropped that I have the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette so it's like a setting powder and a contour which can double as some bronzer I have a nice big fluffy brush I have a contour brush which I double as a blush brush I have some blush. This is the e.l.f. one. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of like got a shimmer to it. I also have um, an eyebrow pencil, which I actually really like this. It's by Wet n Wild um, with a spoolie on the end. It's great in a pinch. I wouldn't use this every day, but it's great in a pinch. Um, some Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara and the Intense Ink Eyeliner by e.l.f. Ooh. And I keep that all in this small little black bag so that if I ever need a touch up or I need to just refresh or look nice, I at least can give myself a fighting chance. The nice thing about this is it's just so ultra convenient. I can't say that enough. It's a great travel bag it's just a great city bag it's a great everyday bag I mean the only annoying thing I would ever say about having a backpack is constantly having to like take it off to access something but for the most part it's way more convenient than carrying a shoulder bag and I think that this is a very sleek stylish classic look like I've had this for four years and it's still in style and they they're still making bags exactly like this so I think things like this think bags like this aren't going out of style and they really meet the need of convenience and cute <laughs> so I hope that you like this video I hope that you like this bag let me know what you think about it and if you have one of these let me know in the comment section down below I will try to find something either by Michael Kors or something that's similar if I can't find this one exactly 
So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you again for another video. Bye.